Hi, I'm Real Generic Demon, and you join me on my quest to play every game on the ZX Spectrum Vega. Now, um, I'm going to say I'm not going to normally do this, but we'll, we'll see as we go along. Um, but I'm literally going to do um, the 3D Notes and Crosses version 1 and number 2 at the same time. And you'll see why shortly, but uh, let's go for it. I got some yes no answers with a couple of the buttons here, so that's fine. Okay, so it's a 4x4x4 four by four by four board or a cube. Um, you've got to put down, you know, you play zeros and the computer plays X's, um, and you've basically got to make four in a row while blocking the computer doing the same thing. So you've got a X, Y, and Z, X being across, Y being uh, up or down on the board, and uh, Z being the depth. I think actually maybe the wrong way around there, uh, but but it doesn't really matter. You'll 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 see why I'm going to do a, a sort of similar thing. So I'm just going to and off we go. So it draws the board. Pressing a key to begin. Yeah, Z's up and down. So I'd like to start. Yes. And uh, we press enter. And I need to do that by bringing up the keyboard, pressing enter. And let's do our coordinates. Now we can do it on the, the, the pad if I get rid of that menu for a second. I think we can go three, three, three. I think it's changed it so we can do each one of those. Bring up the pad, press enter. There we go. Uh, let's do three. Oh, back to the menu. Three, three, zero. Enter that. Bring up the menu. All right. As you can see, it's quite frustrating. Um, it's just quite difficult to play with the virtual keyboard and the keys so uh, not recommended um, quite difficult to, to, to um, work out your locations on that um, the board itself isn't really what I would call a board I would hope for squares on it so that you can actually work out where you're at um, no, I'm I'm not too chuffed about this one as a, as a game on there. So um, I'll take a quick second here, and then we'll go into the next game in a second. All right. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's try the next version. I assume it's the same company that produced it. Um, there we go. No, it's just slightly better. Actually, it might be a different company, but anyway, it's slightly better um, because you can see that now that the four boards are split up, there's rows and there's columns, so so you can actually work out which board you want to use. So if we go with three, and then uh, that's enter. Uh, row three, three, it puts it on. So it's it's slightly better. It's quite not what I would call 3D though either. Um, Better than it previously was. Four, four, four. Yeah. Okay. So, which board? We'll go with three. We'll go with column. Hopefully that's two. And then we'll go with row three. And we'll enter that. Oh. Two. Ah. Column two. Yeah, because I've made a really long. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a particularly. There we go. So we put another one in there. His move will be. He's blocked it already. Right, that's fine. But he's also moved up as well. So what he's going to go for is board two, 
and we want to go with board two row four uh, column two uh, so that blocks him going up the way although at the time this is probably quite high-tech stuff yeah he's tried to do that but that's not actually helped him um, yeah it's not the best um, I think we're going to cut this one these two short um, because of a version one and a version two I'm sure you could have just done one of those but then of course you'd have only had 999 games um, no not the best sorry guys um, we'll leave it there bye